Hey everybody, we're at Riven Insights and uh, just getting perspectives from the show. Uh, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Hi, I'm John Harris. I'm a strategy officer at Aura. Cool. So John, you've been to this event a few times. You've spoken at it before as well. Yep. What are your thoughts on the, the event? Well, the, the event's great. And the, the main reason for me is um, the fact that we get to meet all the Riven team. So obviously Aura being a global organization, we do a lot of global deployments. It's nice when we're working with them see the team, have a chat, and catch yeah. up. And, and, and they bring, it's, this is the Europe one, they do a few of these, but they bring the whole team over yeah, as well. Yeah, this so is really great. So it's like an international team, and we've got the US, we've got the product guys, so we get a bit of insight what's coming, what's not coming, things <laughs> like that, um, and hopefully help motivate and uh, promote kind of change in, in kind of driving that, that transformation. Awesome. I know you do a lot with Ribbon, so you're pretty up to speed on the kind of products. Yeah. What, what have you taken away from the show from a kind of product perspective? I think it's really nice to get the carrier perspective and then the enterprise perspective because we're seeing a lot of overlap. You know, we've got things like Operator Connect where you've got kind of the carriers meet kind of your tier twos and, and all that transition. So yeah. I think it's great to hear, you know, both from, from that side as well as, you know, what's going on with partners in other parts of the world. Right? Yeah, it's not, I think it's one of the nice things about business that Ruben brings together the and customers, the telcos, yeah. and the partners and retailers. And it's a, it's a real Absolutely. mix. Yeah, it's good. And I, I quite like the, the different verticals, because different parts of the world have higher strengths or more verticals in one particular thing, like manufacturing, all the way through to healthcare. So it's good to get a perspective in, and what's going on in the different regions of the world. Yeah. And what, what, what's keeping you busy at Aura in terms of this, this area? Uh, one of the biggest things at the moment is that transition. So what we're really now seeing is, we support the partner community and a lot of partners have built really good businesses on more of that traditional telephony stack and some of them have probably struggled to transition to this more cloud world yep. and I think what, what's, what's keeping us busy is, is, is unlocking how much potential there is outside of just enabling voice. So we've mentioned today AI, co-pilot, contact centre, we call it tricky as a service so you start thinking about lift phones all of that sort oh, of stuff. Oh, I love tricky as a service. That's yeah. a good term. So, yeah, we're doing a lot of that. And, and that, that's really kind of just a bit of a hockey stick, really, in the last six months where the, the market's really starting to transition and, and, and take things seriously around sort of cloud adoption. Yeah, it feels like a lot of the easy seats have gone now. And it is that, like you say, it's Absolutely. that edge case stuff or the comic, or it's adding recordings, adding contact centre. Yeah, we find about 80% is easy. And then it's yeah. that tricky 20% that customers just struggle and need a bit of help. So there's a lot of rescuing going on, <laughs> sort of mid-transition. But it's, yeah, great times. Really excited. I think the market's buoyant. It's, it's really good times. Cool. All right, thanks for time, John. Good Cheers. Thanks, Tom. Cheers, All the best.